Hey guys, so I recently received some products from NYX, and one of them is their NYX Loves LA Professional Makeup Palette. I don't want them all to fall out, but it looks like this. And inside you get a bunch of shadows, and each one has a like neighborhood, Beverly Hills, West Hollywood, Laurel Canyon, the Valley. And each of them is a different color, and on the back it shows you all the different colors. I just think this is really neat. It's not necessarily travel friendly, but for packaging, I think this is really cute. It shows you the sunset and the hills. It's really cute. So I'm going to go through with you and show you the different colors and swatch them, and then I'm going to do a look using these shadows. So the first one I have is Malibu. They come in these little, like little sample boxes, which is a gorgeous blue metallic. Very, very pretty. Next, we have Santa Monica, which is a matte kind of bone color. Next, we have Abbott Kinney. This is a pretty, what is this, like an olivey tan color? Yeah, an olive tan color, that's really pretty. And I just so happened to wear olive today. Hmm, it's fate. Next we have Brentwood. It's like a more emeraldy green. Beverly Hills, a nice light gold color. They're very soft. Very pretty for a highlight color. One of them was shattered when I got it. Okay, not this one. West Hollywood. Look at that bright fuchsia pink. Wow. Laurel Canyon. It's like a metallic burgundy. The Valley. The Valley. Ooh, it's like a rusty red. It's also metallic. That one's really nice. Sorry, my swatches are horrible. <laughs> but you can see the color. Next we have Silver Lake. I wonder if this will be silver. No, it's like a charcoal gray. Sunset Junction. Sunset Junction. Ooh. Fiery orange. This one's a matte. If you like a bold crease color, go with that. Two left. Downtown LA. Sparkly black or charcoal color. See the sparkle? And last but not least is the one that came broken, which is Pasadena. I did press it back together, but that's why it doesn't look very pretty. It's this really pretty bronzy gold color. I will show you the color. Last one. So these are all the colors in the NYX Loves LA collection. So I am gonna hop off camera, do one eye, and I'll be right back. So here's the finished look. So I'm just gonna go through very quickly and show you what I did. First, start out with Santa Monica. 
and I packed it all over my lid. All the way up to my brow area. Next I went in with a crease, a fluffy crease brush. Next I went with a crease brush with Sunset Junction, which is the very bold orange. And I like a good bright transitioning area. So I'm just gonna really pack this on here. Buffing it in and out. Next, I took Abbott Kinney, which is the olive green color, and put that all over my lid. <laughs> I sprayed a little fixing solution just to really intensify the color. Then I'm going to take a tapered blending brush in the green and just kind of buff it into my crease a little. Then going in with Silver Lake, which is the charcoal gray, I'm just gonna deepen out the outer V. And then for the lower lash line, I am going to take Abbott Kinney, that green again, just smudge it into my lower lash line. And then I'm taking just a hint of Sunset Junction, just to kind of help it blend in with the top. And then I'm just gonna pop a little dash of Pasadena, which is the bronzy look, right on the center of my lid. And then using a pencil brush, I'm going in with Beverly Hills, which is the shimmery gold for my inner corner. And then I'm using Almay's Pen Eyeliner, the ballpoint tip, which I tried in yesterday's Get Ready With Me video. Going to curl my lashes and apply some NYX Doll Eyes Mascara. And voila, there you have it. So this is my look using the NYX Loves LA. 
I don't know if you call this a palette, a collection. No, no, but these are all pressed pigments, and I think that the look turned out really pretty. And if you're interested in knowing what I'm wearing on my face today, I tried to use as many NYX products as I could. I used the NYX Stay Matte but Not Flat Foundations in Ivory and Creamy Natural. I tried out their Define and Refine Powder Foundation. I use this as a setting powder. As you can see, it's got like a little bit of a shimmery color and then a matte color, and I use the matte color all over my face today to set my foundation. For blush, I tried the NYX Baked Blush Illuminator and Bronzer on my cheeks, and this is the color one full on femme. It's very light Barbie pink. I don't even know if you can see it. It's very light and shimmery and I have that all over my cheeks today. Very, very pretty. On my lips, I am wearing the NYX Slide On, Glide On, Stay On and definitely a turn on waterproof extreme color lip liner. This lip liner is so good, the name had to be this long in the color Sugar Glass. And then I am wearing their matte lipstick in the shade Euro Trash, which is like a nice warm toned nude color. And I just love the way it turned out. I know I have pink on my cheeks and then like browns on my lips and green and orange on my eyes, but hey, whatever works. So I hope you enjoyed this eye tutorial. So remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I do read them and reply when I can. So that's it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.